welcome back. Hope you're having welcome. amazing Ramadan. Uh, we're doing our fundraiser for Charity Water. I really, really, really hope that you contribute. The links are down below and we're going to go off of why raising money for a well is super, super important. Besides the whole continuous charity thing, the fact that we're raising money for a well for clean water for a community not only helps the community in that one specific thing but that ripples out to so many other benefits for that one little small community uh, and we're going to go over those things right now with you just so that it can connect you to the project maybe a little bit more and you can donate a little bit more <laughs> education yeah, I'm all she, about education. She is actually a school teacher. She's yes. one of the most phenomenal school teachers. If you follow my Instagram, don't know about that. You'll see, no, no. you'll see a video. <laughs> you have to scroll down some, oh but gosh. you'll see a video where she gets an amazing award and it lists all of the amazing stuff she does. Talking about water, <laughs> so, education. The, yeah. the reason why I brought it up. I we were reading over facts on Charity Water's website, mm -hmm. and one this one just stuck out to me because. If we're able to build a well in a community, then we're giving the ability for girls, especially girls, mm. to have more hours in school. Yeah. So going, not having access to clean water, these kids, mainly kids, are going out to find water, I guess, for their villages, for their communities, and that's obviously taking time away from their education. So contributing to a well in their community will allow them to be to have more more hours in school rather than outside of school because they're going in search for, for one. Yeah. Another thing that is amazing is, it honestly blew me away, but diseases from waterborne, um, like dirty water, kills more people than all violent deaths combined. Like, and that includes wars. Um, they're, that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. 43% of all waterborne deaths are children under five years old, so babies essentially. And um, if everyone had access to clean water, 16,000 people's lives will be saved every week. Wow. Like, that's that's, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> But then again, and then they said, I think it was 663 million people do not have access to clean water. Wow. Like, I can't even, I don't know, because water is something that just comes to us. It, 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 it Honestly, just, when you think of these things, we're can't. so unbelievably blessed. Yeah. And, like, $5 can make a huge difference yes. in building a well, and it hopefully maybe even save a life, and it's a continuous charity. Um, it's a charity that will keep rewarding and we're in the month of Ramadan so it's just gonna be multiple multiple yes. multiple multiple a reward after reward after reward um, but the idea of alleviating that sort of stressor on another person to me is worth so much more than five dollars or ten dollars or twenty I guess you know without having to point this out um, in in Africa, 72%, 72% of the people that go out to get water are women. So they have strong neck muscles. Oh yeah, it's because of how strong they are. Yeah, um, women are like pretty beasts. Yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> um, so this goes back to the education yeah. uh, side of things because if these women aren't out spending most of their time getting water in search of water, then they have more time to spend on doing things for their families as far as finding ways to make an income, getting the education that yeah. they weren't able to get. So it's just, everything is a domino effect. I just, you know what blows my mind? is like, it's 2017 and we still have women walking with jerry cans to get water. Yeah. I don't know why, I just, I just can't wrap my head around that. Because it's like, why haven't we come up with a better solution? Why are we so spoiled and... I don't know. Maybe I mean, not spoiled. Maybe spoiled is I mean, the right word. You know what? It, 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 if you look on it, we are like in the entire world. Everyone in America talks about the top one percent, right? Yeah. They're we're the one percent of the world. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like even though we have our struggles with day to day life, we are unbelievably blessed with the things that we have been given, um, and. 
once you pull yourself out of your own sort of drama and look at it in a whole scope of the whole universe, right? Uh, our problems aren't much of anything. No. They're very superficial. They're very surface level. This is a this is a problem that we can help fight, and uh, hopefully, the with the money that you donate, we can raise money for a well for a community that doesn't have access to clean water, and it can be a continuous charity for us. Yeah. I really hope this is something that you guys would sort of share with your friends, share with your family, take this video or take the the page. I'm going to link it down below. Share it on all your social media platforms. Let's raise some money to build this well and save some lives. Let's do it. Let's do this. High five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. So like that's all right. Yeah. I could never do this in front of people. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm picturing. I'm picturing. People. Oh no, you just picture a piece us. of glass. It's just us. Yeah, yeah. this is a uh, this is doppelganger <laughs> Nye, doppelganger Sadaf. Yeah. Oh, I didn't introduce you in the last time. That's okay. I don't need to. Be this introduced. is Sadaf. <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, Mariam. Where is she? Oh yeah, we are doing this with the, our friend Mariam. She is she just in Connecticut, in us. and we would have to actually gag her and <laughs> actually tie her down to a chair for her to be in a video. Oh yeah. She would Although never do she's that. all about, hey, go do a video. <laughs> she's all about pushing you oh, yeah. into doing it. Yeah. And she'll be behind the camera. Laughing. Oh and yeah. Pointing. <laughs> it's okay, we love you. Love you. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. This is this is, there you go. What is that? It's the Korean heart. Oh, I didn't know that. I just learned it. Interesting. 